everyone, Mindless here, and today I am going to start my new Simming Saturdays. I am excited to play The Sims with you today. Guessing some of you have seen it before, but for those of you that haven't, I will go through and start everything new just so you can see how you set everything up in the first place. So first, I am going to start a new game. And I'm going to pre pretend I've never played it before so that you get the tutorials. And I do have all of the expansions, so if some of you don't have those, I Edison. apologize. This is where your story and characters begin. Click Hello. around and experiment. Click the buttons on the top to give your sim a name. So anyways, if, if you don't have all Looks of the expansions to start it's out, I apologize, clothing, but you will makeup, see what shape, the different expansions do you know, along with the playthrough. And I... Who is your sim? What will they accomplish? First, choose an aspiration. Wow, they label. like to talk a lot. Click one of the buttons on the left of the screen. Okay. Click a button. There we go. So I wanted to focus on the cats and dogs expansion specifically. And I had an idea that maybe we could have a cat lady and a dog man and dog dude. Okay, someone heard me say man and said I should call him dog dude. Um, so, I am... Sorry, they keep interrupting me. So, I am going to see if I can make them both be veterinarians and maybe create a animal version of the Brady Bunch. So, this is going to be Kathy. You go up here and type the name. You can also push this little die and randomize it if you can't think of anything or if you just feel like coming up with something different. But she is going to be Kathy Katz. And yes, I spelled it like a cat. And then over here, this is where you choose the gender. And you have all these different options. You can kind of somewhat make them non-binary if you like, but they do start with these basic setups. And so she's gonna be a woman. She is going to start as a young adult over here you can change what kind of walking style they have some of them are really silly swagger i i actually usually don't do the walks <laughs> That's a good one for vampires. Okay, so let's just do the default. And then over here, you can change the voice. Okay, so let's make her... Kind of bird-like. Okay. Then you pick an aspiration, which is basically a life goal. She could be an athlete, a chef, a painter, or a trendsetter. Or... You could also, well, maybe they changed it since last time I was in here. You used to be able to pick the individual traits, but maybe that's just because I've been playing so long, my 
thing isn't set up for a tutorial. Um, if any of you guys know why it's not letting me do that or verify if my theory is correct, that would be good to know for anyone who hasn't done it yet. Um, so maybe she can't be a veterinarian. That's kind of a bummer. So I guess let's make her a painter. And it doesn't let you pick any of these traits. Normally you can. That's kind of making me grumpy. I don't think I like that. Okay, so then over here, you can change what she looks like. You can pick from these kind of preset faces. Or you can kind of adjust their faces yourself. So you can make her have a bigger nose or a smaller nose. Or you can make her chin change. You can change her eye color. You can change her eye shape. So let's see what we like here. Kind of caramel colored eyes. Those are pretty. And you, oh, you can change her hair color and hairstyle. There's all these different ones. actually kind of cute and then change the color see how that is spin she is very cute so let's keep her Kathy cats and then you can click anywhere on her basically and change her outfit or her accessories like bracelet and ring and things that you can see her wearing a necklace. You can click on any of these to make them show the whole list and then you can pick which one you like or you can go into stylized looks and it gives you kind of pre-made outfits. You hover over the colors for different color combinations. Let's see, what should a cat lady wear? Cat. Cat, cat, cat. Don't see anything with cats. Usually they have outfits with cats. So let's just pick out something that looks cute on her. Um, what do you guys like? Sweater. That's cute. Oh, I'm trying to click on. There we go. Accessories. Can take her bracelet off. You can, oh, you click on her head to get to the necklace, and then accessories again. Take the necklace off. Ah. Didn't really like the way it looked with that one arm down on the shoulder and then pants we have regular pants skirts shorts tight pants jeans she looks pretty casual let's do jeans yeah that looks good 
And then shoes. We have sandals, flats, loafers, uh, not loafers, heels, wedges, sneakers. <coughs> Let's do. Sorry, someone's coughing in the background. Don't worry, he'll live. And sneakers. There we go. That looks good. And if you go up to the little arrow up here, you can add another outfit for her. This is the everyday outfit, so she will be able to have choices, and it kind of randomizes what outfit she wears for the day, so you aren't always looking at her wearing the same thing every single time. Let's see how that one looks. Very jubby. Well, she seems to like that one. Let's keep that one. And then formal wear. That combination is not so great. Let's change that. Hmm. Cute. And shoes. Well, you could go barefoot, but let's not do that. Shoes. Cute. And then this kind of outfit looks like it needs some accessories. And a necklace. Necklace. Oh, earrings. Let's see. Those are pretty. Earrings. Necklace. Yeah. And you can also do glasses if you want. Um, I kind of rotate, so some of my Sims wear glasses and some don't. More like real life. And then I'm not going to go through and have multiple options for every single day, but you could and it gives you up to five for every single kind of category of clothing and you can close it by hitting that little x there oh junk mail more junk mail just ignore those sorry and oh it's not gonna let me do that so let's do one more outfit and do, do, do. let's do another stylized one see what they have in the formal wear lots of different outfits kind of like designing uh -huh. Oh, she likes that one too. Okay. And then athletic wear. Let's find something. So also, over here, you can go through and kind of organize these a little bit more based on what kind of style this person is going to have or what kind of pack you want to base it on. So this one is focusing on cats and dogs. She has this hoodie with cute little paw prints on it. Let's see. Oh my gosh. That is so her. Let's do a pink one. Heck yeah. And then what is she got on her hand? That is like a bowling glove or something. I don't think she needs that every time she exercises. I do sometimes make a bowling outfit. There's a bowling thing in one of the expansions, but I'm not going to do that on every single exercise outfit. That just seems silly. So you could do that by clicking the X like I just did, or you could go up here and click the X on the box that's kind of got the green circle around it that tells you that is the one that she's wearing and then shorts 
or leggings or some kind of something to exercise in. Let's see. She have oh sweats. Uh, it's not bad, but not my favorite. Let's see, different kind of sweats. Doesn't really match with her kitty cat hoodie. That one's better. And the, the tennis shoes or sneakers are fine. And pajamas. She could sleep in that. I personally don't like wearing shoes to bed. So I always take their shoes off. I know sometimes you wear slippers like at bedtime. But... I just think it's silly to keep them on every time you go to bed. So I always take them off. So here is what she's wearing already. I like the top. Oh, I guess it is all one set. So that's fine. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. She's keeping that. This is if you have the pack... Oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank. What is it called? It is called... Seasons. Duh. If you have the Seasons pack, then it gets, like, super hot or super cold. And you have different outfits based on the weather for that. So let's do a hot outfit. To speed up time a little bit, I'm just going to go through and pick stuff from this. Stylized looks. So I think you guys are kind of getting the point. That's good when it's super hot and cold. Mm, not my favorite color on her. Let's see. Super cute. Okay, so let's keep that. And then you click this little button down here to add her into the game. And then we wait for the loading screen, which will vary based on your computer and how quick it is and all that. And now... She is... <laughs> Welcome to The Sims 4. We can't wait to show you all the wild stories you can tell in this game of life. Alright, so some of this stuff is definitely because I'm doing the tutorial. It's not exactly the same. Once you've gone through the tutorial, you have a little bit more options. But for now, let's go through this and meet Alex. You click on her. This big greet isn't normally going to be there. That's just part of the tutorial telling you how to go through the game. So you click on her and you do whatever option you want to do as you're greeting and introduce yourself to her. Your sim should follow Alex inside the house. Right click on Alex's portrait to have the camera follow her. Then click anywhere on the ground and select go here. If you ever lose track of a sim, double click their portrait to find them. Okay, so a portrait they mean down here. You can click on this and see how it has the little video camera. That means that it's going to follow them around the house. So you don't have to keep moving the camera around to figure out where they are. And then you can do the same thing on Alex. And right now, your Sim is hungry. But don't worry, Alex will prepare a meal for your Sim. That's very nice of Alex. Let's follow her into here. To move the camera, you need to know how to control the camera so you can see the uh, things that you want to see. Read my mind. Use the buttons and scroll wheel on your mouse to control the camera. Try it now. Okay, so that is the right click, and we will just 
move this around so you can see Alex making some food for me. I have a scroll wheel on my mouse. That's how I'm zooming in and out. I'm sure there's another way to do it if you don't have a scroll wheel, but I've had this for so long I honestly don't remember. Oh, I think it just dawned on me. You hit the little plus button on the keyboard will also zoom you in and out. The, the plus and minus. Okay, making some food. What a nice friend. Click on objects to give directions to your sim. For example, click on the delicious food prepared by Alex and tell your sim to grab a serving. Okay, so that, you scroll back over here and click on the food, grab a serving. And if you click on her, it will follow her automatically to where she's going. Relationships are very important to Sims, both for their stories and their social need. Click on Alex and select Get to Know to see your Sim start a conversation. Feel free to experiment, experiment with, with friendship, friendship or, or romance, romance to tell the stories, the stories that interest you. Okay, let's get to know Alex. Get to know you. Over here, you can see the different things they're doing. They Shift your gaze to the top of the screen to see how the conversation is going. Sims need money to pay bills, buy better household items, and even purchase food. Luckily, we had Alex pull a few strings to get your Sim a sweet job, which starts tomorrow. You can choose a different job later if you don't like this one. You always have choices to make for your Sims. Oh, good. So maybe she can still be a veterinarian. Up here is where it shows the notifications. This one is telling me that we learned Alex is materialistic. And this is telling me when I need to go to work, which it also says down here. We'll close that. And like I was saying over here, you can see she's kind of multitasking a little bit. She can eat and talk at the same time. And certain things you're able to do along with other things, but not always. It just depends on what it is you're trying to do. And it looks like Kathy decided to just go ahead and do the dishes. I didn't tell her to, but that's pretty cool. I like to give Sims a lot of autonomy so that they can do what they want to do a lot of the time. I find it's kind of like watching a soap opera because they do some really goofy stuff. Oh, Alex brought me a present. How nice. Alex is a welcome gift for your Sim. What a great tour guide. You should open your Sims inventory to see what it is. Think of the inventory as your Sims personal pocket with unlimited space. Hmm, magic pockets. Okay, so inventory is down here. We click your on Sim that. Received an assortment of goodies from Alex. The gift included some seeds for a garden, a book, and something to decorate the home. Thanks, Alex. Okay, so this is saying you can click on your inventory and then I actually do things with the things in there. So you can place this in the world. And that means that she's going to take it out and put it somewhere. I'm going to click on this and put it on the counter there. Okay, then down here is the aspiration. Every These. aspiration has multiple levels called milestones. To progress to the next one, what the, the heck are they watching? Is on the oh right my track. goodness. Okay. Click to cancel an action you don't. So that is over here. You can make her stop doing what she was doing. Oh, 
Yeah, so right here it says one of her aspirations is to go to sleep for the night. Over here you can see what time it is. So it is just pretty much afternoon, so it's not really time to go to sleep for the night. She's going to hang out and watch. What are they watching? College Cram. It's a movie. And... I'm not sure whose house this even is, but it's kind of nice. So, like I said, you can just kind of sit back and watch them for a while and see what they're doing. Sometimes they do some really interesting things. Make me laugh. You can talk a little bit more. Become friends. Kanumi, Merkel Zero, Opala Chava, Heldo Dabishi, Clevite Bainu, Fadoi Bafala Yadib, Benica Fanade, Hispala Grinia. I like to kind of make up stories of what they're talking about based on the thought bubbles. So she's talking about coffee, and she's talking about herself. Ooh, she loves dinner. And tanks. It's an interesting conversation. Dinner, tanks, and artwork. Ooh, great idea. So over here, it also shows what kind of mood she's in. She is feeling inspired. So if she has some kind of canvas to paint on or computer to write a story on. Now would be a good time to do that when she's feeling inspired. There we go. There's a canvas. Let's paint. Oh, they're gossiping, gossiping about something. That was shocking. Ah. Okay, let's see. What are we going to paint? Up here is the meter. It shows what skill level she's at. So as she's doing this, she gets a little bit better. And down here... Eventually, when the tutorial is over, um, that's where it shows what skill she has. Like Most of them go up to level 10, just depending on the skill. Oh, guess what she's painting? Cats! Haha! <laughs> you can't control what they paint, so it's always a surprise to see. And I love that she's painting cats. So cute! That one might actually be a dog, I'm not sure. So, then you can admire it, your work. So beautiful. You can grab this. Usually, maybe not during the tutorial. And I'm going to pause and skip ahead so you don't have to watch this couple hours of what I'm choosing to do. And then we will be back in a second. Okay, so we just tired her out. Basically, all you missed was she sat around talking to Alex and watching TV. It wasn't that exciting. So skipping ahead... We get to the part where she's finally going to sleep. You just click on the bed, bed and tell her to sleep. Or if she feels like it, then she will go and do it on her own. And when you sleep, normally time will speed up a little bit. If everyone... Oh, more mail. If everyone will be asleep in the house at the same time, but since Alex is awake, it's not going quite as fast. And rather than just sit here 
and wait for her to wake up, I'm pushing these buttons down here. It makes it go a little bit faster. So this is the normal time. This is a little bit faster. This is as fast as it will go as long as somebody's still awake. If we could convince her, there we go, she's going to sleep. Now look at it. Speeding through time. And then you see the needs are going down. She's going to need to use the toilet and she's going to need to get something right to eat time. Your when she wakes up. The first day of work. Click on the shower so your sim can clean up and fix the hygiene. Co workers don't like stinky sims. And she also needs a shower. So she's doing a lot of this automatically by herself, but for those sims that don't, you would click on the toilet and tell her to use the toilet. You would click on the shower, tell her to take a shower. You could also tell her to wash her hands or brush her teeth. And it's not going to let me speed up during this because it wants you to learn how to do this during the tutorial. Shower. Just in case you never seen a shower before, this is a shower. We promise we won't look. Okay, so it blurs everything. Totally family friendly. No worries. And then you click on the toilet and tell it to use the toilet. Speed up a little bit. Coffee is delicious and good for an energy boost. Click on the coffee maker to brew a cup. Okay, slow down. We'll go over here. If you've never seen a coffee maker, this is a coffee maker. Oh, you can't brew a cup because your friend there has stinky, dirty coffee in there that she didn't clean out. So let's clean that out. Maybe. And then we can brew some coffee. There we go. Okay. You can see coffee getting fuller and fuller. Oh, she's so grumpy about his stinky house. What is stinky? Oh. We didn't clean up the dishes either. So gross. Look at that face. She is not happy with that. It smells like a stinky shoe. Ugh. You could actually eat that, but I wouldn't recommend it. Okay, so she's going to wash up her coffee cup. Let's see if we can get her to clean up the dishes. You can see down here, she does not like having dirty dishes. But she does like that coffee. And she's feeling energized. There we go. Wow, lots of dirty dishes. No wonder she was grumpy. Throwing all the gross stuff away. Washing the dishes. Oh, I forgot. You can actually put tattoos on your Sims, too. She obviously had one already, but when you're creating them, you can put them on there. Whoa. Huh, she's thinking about a voodoo doll. It's time for work. Sims will always go to work on their own, assuming you don't prevent them from doing so. Your Sim is at work. But you can take control of Alex by clicking on her portrait. Have fun. You can't really do anything wrong. So this is Alex. Says we need to play. We'll leave you alone for a while and let you play. Tell Alex to read, clean up, or just relax. Or watch what Alex chooses to do. Sims think for themselves and pursue their own agenda if you let them. Okay, so what is Alex going to do? 
while Kathy is at work. She is watching The Clumsy Sisters. It's another movie. Now it's time to cook. What is she making? Chips and salsa requires a mixing bowl. I've never used a mixing bowl for that, but okay. And time to wash your bowl. And more TV. Wow, you are an exciting lady. Okay, what are you going to do now? Oh, you have a computer. So you... Your Sim is home from work, a little tired, but with more money in the pocket. Now is a good time to prepare dinner by clicking on the fridge, have a conversation, or relax with a little TV. All right. So click on her, and she needs to go to use the toilet. And sometimes you can click on something and they'll do it next. Other times it will make them stop what they're doing and they'll immediately start doing what you told them to do. I don't know how they figure it out. They just do what they want. So instead of watching her take a shower, let's see what Alex is going to do. Coffee and a movie maybe? Ooh. Yep. She loves movies. Let's see. Down here says her aspiration is to have a mansion and her job. She doesn't have a job. And since we're in a tutorial, it won't let her get a job. But is Kathy almost done with her shower? Yeah. Maybe Alex can make dinner. Let's see. Click on the stove. Tell her to cook. What should she cook? How about some dumplings? And make enough for both of them. Oh, look, she's getting hungry. Perfect timing. The yellow means that she is getting hungry. Besides, you can tell the bar is halfway. The colors actually help indicate how dire their needs are as well. So if it gets red, that means she's super duper hungry. What is she? She is making vegetable dumplings with a chopping board and a mixing bowl. And what is Kathy doing? Watching a movie. Roaring Vice. Ooh, look at that. So fancy. She's, see, so her fun meter is going up. If you hover over these, it tells you what you can do to help improve those. So, she can go over here. Where did the food go? Did Alex... Oh, Alex put it on the coffee table. That's nice. Now you can get some. Watch the movie. Eat some dinner. See if it'll let you talk to Alex at the same time. Oh, that movie. Let's see. 
So you'd rather be having some cheeseburgers? Oh. Think about rainbows. That'll cheer you up. How was your day? Oh man, it was so horrible. It rained. I was so bored. You get to know you a little bit better. All we know is you're materialistic and you want a mansion. Good luck with that with no job. How about grilled cheese sandwiches? Those are amazing. Oh, <laughs> she's materialistic, unemployed, and lazy. That will definitely help her get a mansion. Okay. Then, how about if you use the toilet and take a shower and go to bed. And you... And clean up. Who? Who are you gonna talk to? So something you can do with these paintings, you pick them up and hang them on the wall. Okay, now you go to bed. You go in that bed. I've deemed that to be your room. Some of the sims sing in the shower and some don't. They all have different singing voices. So sometimes they are horrible, horrible singers. And that's my favorite because it is so funny. Okay. So she has glasses while well, she's in the shower. Let's just speed up. Blah, blah, blah. Go to bed. There you go. And now, spit up, spit up, spit up. Look at how fast time flies. Oh, it's day three of summertime. That's because I have the Seasons expansion. If you don't have the Season expansion, it'll just have the date and the time, but not the weather. Or the season, obviously. Oh, she has to go use the toilet. Go, go, go. She walking funny. Okay, let's not watch that. Then what do you got to do? You've got to go to work in two hours. You can, instead of cooking, you can also click on the refrigerator. Okay, let's have some oatmeal. Microwavable oatmeal. Yum. Ooh, that sounds so delicious. Let's stand here and stare at the microwave until it's done. Okay, that took forever. Next. So up here, it says she starts in one hour. We already knew that. Oh man, stinky dishes again. So, Alex, please don't tell me you're going to eat that. Okay, good. Are you going to clean it up? Oh no! She's going to eat it! Ah! Uh, Ooh, Grobel. 
Ew, Grubal is right. Are you gonna keep eating it anyways? Ew! So disgruble. It's so disgruble. Why are you still eating it? Oh my gosh! <laughs> she is not understanding. Oh, poor Canoe. Merkel's your Ew. Oh my gosh. She's grossed out every time, but she's gonna keep doing it. Now. <laughs> Look, you can see the green stinkiness coming off of it. And she's still eating it. Okay. How is she so happy? Look, she's still happy. Oh man, that was a juicy story. You clean this stuff up. That is so gross. You can click on these other boxes when the other one disappeared. I thought for sure that would at least give her a stomach ache or make her uncomfortable or something. But she does not even care. Even though it was disgruble. Okay, so let's just skip ahead, try and get through this tutorial a little bit, and I'll come back if something new and exciting happens. It says you're supposed to do the daily task, and it has this performance bar that goes over to the end, and then this little check pops up to tell you once you've met enough of your goals to be able to get the promotion. So the next day you work after getting that check, you will get a promotion after you come back home from work. <laughs> and it always says here what your job is. The one in parentheses there, that means she's at level one in her job and her next promotion, she will be at art book later and over here it shows what her working hours are when she gets a promotion that sometimes will change so you want to check on that periodically and so over here it's telling me whoops those move most of the furniture doesn't move but those move so you click on that and paint again. Let's do a small one this time. Oh, she was trying to eat. And I'm making her paint. I'm such a horrible human. Okay, what is she going to paint? I like the cats better. But she did a really good job on those apples with the shading. Okay, and then this is what I was talking about earlier. The light bulb shows what skill they have and what level skill within each that they have. And most of them go up to 10. Some of them are only 5. So this is their aspiration. She is in the career development. I think that's just part of a tutorial. I don't think that's a normal aspiration. So she's got these aspirations she's got to meet, and then hopefully we will be through the tutorial. How about we move this painting over here? And do another painting. That's better. Maybe that will improve your skill. Speed up, speed up, speed up. What are you painting? Oh, she gained a level in her painting skill. Is that another apple? 
Not sure, but I think that's another apple. Let's hang that one up. Come on. You don't want to go there? Alright, fine. This will show the rest of the walls. So let's pull that up, and then we can hang that there. And then put that back down. You can do this, where it doesn't show the walls at all, and you can see the entire house. That's the way I usually like to do it. Or you can do this, where it shows the outside of the walls but you can still see most of what's going on. I kind of like that as well, just depends. And after you finish your applesauce, you can take a shower. Improve a skill, that didn't count? I thought for sure that would count. Maybe because it's part of her career task and she has to improve a different skill. So let's see, what was her other skill? Comedy and charisma. So let's try making her more funny. I guess that'll be after she gets home from work now. Oh, I hate doing dishes. Why do I have to cook and do dishes? Ha <laughs> ha! Dropped a pepper into the pan. Not sure why you would put pepper on a grilled cheese sandwich. But I guess some people might like that. Okay. More boring wow. stuff, and I will skip ahead until something cool happens again. And you can see she's getting more money per hour. She got a bonus, and she got some swag. And that is because we completed, well, wrong person, <laughs> the skills the daily tasks and things that she needs to get this bar up. So, that is cool. And we still need to improve a skill and clean the home. I basically just made Kathy tell joke after joke after joke until she hit her level 2 in comedy. And then let's see if that improved a skill. No. Weird. So she still got to improve a skill and clean the home. So I guess, let's see. She's got the painting skill that she's doing for work says she can do painting, working out, cooking, or writing. Oh, I guess now the painting skill just got improved. That's odd. Okay, whatever. And then clean the home. I made them go to bed without putting the dishes away. Let's see if she cleans this up. If that, oh good, that did count as cleaning the home. Your sim was promoted. This means more title, more money, rewards, but also more work opportunities. Your sim deserves time off from work. They can use their phone to spend vacation days whenever they work. Okay, so she didn't even finish cleaning up. That is pretty funny. So click on the phone. And it shows different things you can do. Take a vacation day. Does she have more? Yep, she's going to have to do these 
aspirations for the tutorial as well. If you click on here, usually it'll tell you what other things she has to do, but I guess not this time. Okay, let's go on vacation. Sims can travel around the neighborhood to leave the house and get some fresh air. You can travel by using the phone. Hey, phone, car, travel. Bring Alex along for the ride, at least today. In the future, as your Sims make friends and romantic partners, they can invite these Sims to go meet out on the town. How exciting. Okay, Alex, where are we going to go? I saw that one of the things we have to do is go fishing. So let's find somewhere we can fish. Oh, looks like we don't have a choice. This is where we're going. Luckily, I happen to know that is water that we can fish in. So let's do that. Travel. And we have to go fishing for an hour. If you scroll Heart back. School, your Sims will build several relationships over time. Keep tabs on their social life by clicking on the relationship icon down at the bottom. Generally, if you need to learn something about your Sim, click a button down there. Okay, so this is where you can go fishing, as you can see by the big go fishing sign. It's not usually there, by the way. And you can click on the water. Oh, it looks like she's got to use the toilet first, so let her do that. Let's follow her around and click this since it wants us to do that. That tells you who all your friends and acquaintances and romantic relationships are. If you go up here, this shows everybody. These are your friends. These are people that live in your house. Those are your sweeties. Co-workers, people that you are in a club with, which you will see in a later video. That I think that also is part of an expansion. If I remember right, you can't get that in just the base pack. And then also it would have a list of who your pets are, which we will definitely have in the future. Okay, so she is hungry. She's going to make some hamburgers. Oh, Ina. <laughs> Your Sims can always return home no matter where they are by clicking the go home button on their portrait. It's the teeny tiny little house. Yeah, we're not doing that yet. We haven't even gone fishing. <laughs> We need to go fishing over here. Go fishing. And speed up. And let's watch you do that. They have a fishing skill, as you can see, that is growing as they get better at fishing. Oh, they went fishing for an hour. So then the next thing we're supposed to do is meet new Sims. I've already met Alex, so I need to meet two more people. So let's scroll back. I always like to pause it because people have a tendency to walk out of the area. And let's say hey to these guys. See, it says he is in a club. Hello, and he's in two clubs. Say hello, and then let's go over there. Oh, stop fishing first. The fish in this area are too crafty. Not a very good fisherman yet. Hello, I also like to talk about garbage. Alright, met new people. And now, 
What's next? The fall of Fredoy. <laughs> oh yeah, we gotta go home. Let's speed up a little bit. Or a lot. Okay, now we are back home. Your sim completed the aspiration. This means earning satisfaction points to spend on rewards. Sweet. But this is just the first step, and there are many more aspirations from which to choose. Choose a new aspiration, which will open up new story possibilities for your sim. Okay, so new aspiration. I don't want any of these. Why can't I do what I want to do? I want to be a mansion baron, I You've guess. You've learned the basics and are now ready to play on your own. Alex is leaving to help other new players. Bye, Alex! Now Bye, that your sim Alex. is alone at home, you can enter build mode to redecorate it to your liking. Add rooms, buy new furniture, move things around, and more. Take a look. You can tinker as long as you have money to spend. Uh, build mode. And I'm not going to go into build mode a lot right now because that is going to be a whole nother episode but basically this is how you build the house from the ground up or decorate an existing house or build individual rooms and plop them together to make a house or a restaurant or spa or whatever it is you are wanting to make so we will get into that later for now and go back into if you're in need of inspiration I don't know if it's live or live mode. From around the world upload amazing I'm going with to live a community of creators poke around and download anything you like oh, it's free Pelnoy. okay so that is the gallery up here if you're confused or need a refresher read the lessons Alex wrote for your sim in the options menu this is me these are all the different things I have built and created. Um, okay. There's different things you can look at. You can download things that other people have created, or pe th houses and sims and pets and things that other people have created so that you can use them to play with in your game. And let's get rid of that for now. Okay, and then it says I need to go up here, options. This is where you save the game. And I am going to save it as cats and dogs these are my other saves that says black widow she's not a black wid widow that's weird okay and then down there is save oh end tutorial we did it add Okay, so let's start a new game because I didn't really get to do anything I wanted to do with her, but that was a good way for anyone who hasn't played The Sims to get a basic overview of what it is you're supposed to do. Okay, so continue. Ooh. Let's not do that because I think I'll lose her and have to create her over again. I don't like that idea. Okay, so I am going to keep her. I guess she will be in this house. It's not usually how it works. Usually you have to buy a house to move into. You can see it's raining outside. 
in the summertime, ooh, there's going to be a thunderstorm. That's a little scary. But, um, you will see in the next video where we create the dog dude, how you normally would move into a house. And, um, if you have any ideas on what I should name him, then leave the comments down below. And hopefully we can come up with something cool for him. Ooh, scary thunder. All right, I am going to call this a day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!